Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Week of the Week reviews. Each week I take five releases, be it LTPs or singles, and after I, and after I listen to them all week, I come back here in our beat and I share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first release, Brandon Heath's new album, Enough Already. Yeah. Brandon Heath's new album, his first album in four and a half years, enough already, let's dive into it. So, pretty good album here, stylistically, it's a mix of upbeat pop, and pop contemporary ballads. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here, Brandon talks about how God's true love changed him from the past of being blind into lies that he had to earn God's love by being good enough to a new redeemed reality as a fearless child of God that Jesus gives when he rests in the fact that God says he's already loved enough to be welcomed at his table and, and where he surrenders control of the trials in his life to God, his unendingly faithful rock that will see him through to the other side. Up next, Ann Wilson's debut album, My Jesus. So before I dive into my thoughts on Ann Wilson's debut album, My Jesus, let me just say this came across as a request from You Can't Have It, The Raleigh Girl. Thanks, You Can't Have It, The Raleigh Girl, for requesting this album. Let's dive into it. So pretty good debut album here. Stylistically, it's a mixture of country, southern rock, southern gospel, with elements of contemporary, and folk, and some pop elements, too. The last couple songs definitely have a worship feel to them. And as for the lyrics here... Pretty good lyrics here. Anne talks about how when we feel heavy from shame and this crazy world, we can build on the truth of God's word that tells us how Jesus in his love and grace shed his blood on the cross to cleanse us of sin and rose again to give us new resurrected life as treasured children of the king. And how God loves us and goes before us with the miracle in the hard times. Up next, Life Church Worship's new EP, Grace Upon Grace. Life Church Worship's new EP, Grace Upon Grace. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good EP here. Stylistically, a worship EP that at times incorporates pop rock elements as well. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. They talk about how we got a joyful inheritance even in the hardest valley. Knowing that Jesus, who has always loved us, died on the cross to pay the debt of sin and set us free from death. Rose again to give us the new life we're meant to have. And his spirit is with us and goes before us. For our good as our closest friend. Up next, Planet Boom's new album, You, Me, The Church. That's us. Side B. Planet Boom's new album, You, Me, The Church. That's us. Side B. Let's dive into it. And no, I did not review Side A, but I went back and listened to that, and that was pretty good. Side B is pretty good, too. Stylistically, the first half of Side B has an electronic hip-hop with some rock influence in the sound. And the second half is more of a conventional pop worship sound. And as for the lyrics here, love the lyrics here. They talk about how Jesus... In his perfect, unfailing love, gave up his life to turn our souls around and set them free. 
So we give up our lives to glorify Jesus by taking his kingdom to our generation, whatever the cost, knowing that his spirit will give us the strength to do this. Up next, our last release for today, New Tones, new EP, 1987 Dreams. New Tones, new EP, 1987 Dreams. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good EP here. Stylistically, a lo-fi and R&B influence to pop sound. Vocally, New Tone with the rapping and his guest artists do the singing on the hooks. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. New Tone talks about working hard with his life. Fighting off religion and fame to authentically follow God's calling to use his ministry to point to Jesus the way that changes us. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like what's on the video, please subscribe. I put out videos every Friday at 9.30 on Pacific Time. Also, if you have any thoughts on today's releases or what I may have said about them, let me know down in the comments below. Also, in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome releases that came out today that you want to see in next week's video. Also, check out the playlist section for the most stream playlists available here on YouTube and also on Spotify. And this month's edition of the playlist, which is still out today and tomorrow, features songs from artists like Austin French, Brandon Murphy, I Am Day, Torn Wells, and others. And yes, you can look for a new edition this Sunday, May 1st, as I show what I've been playing in April. Well, go now. See you next week, and see you on Sunday for the playlist. <laughs> Bye!